My fellow Americans, I am about to sign into law the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Lady Bird was fighting for the Civil Rights Act. She and Zephyr Wright, their African-American cook, would drive from Texas to Washington when LBJ was in Congress. Many hotels were segregated, and she refused to stay at those hotels. And Lady Bird was instrumental in, in making him see the human side of racism in the South. The Civil Rights Act outlaws discrimination based on color, race, and religion. It's passed in the face of fierce opposition. With an election approaching, an exhausted Johnson tells advisors he might not run. Lady Bird steps in, penning a nine-page memo explaining why he must. She admired him, she loved him, she believed in him. And so whenever he had weakness or self-doubt, she helped him to overcome that. Johnson will run in 1964 with Lady Bird right by his side. In the campaign that follows, she'll show extraordinary personal courage, even risking her life to get her husband re-elected. They had just passed the Civil Rights Bill, and a lot of Southerners felt that it had been shoved down their throats, and they were, you were changing the culture, you were changing the way they had grown up, and uh, they were very hurt. She believes that it's time for the South to change, but she treasures um, what she believes is the core and the culture and the goodness of the South. So she decides to make a trip. On October 6th, Lady Bird boards a steam train heading south. It's the first time any First Lady has made a campaign trip like this without her husband. She defies death threats and her husband's advisors to take her message to the people. She was really fearless because there were bomb threats and they even had the Secret Service have to go clear the tracks before she went out. Over the next four days, the Lady Bird Special travels through eight southern states. During most of the trip, Mrs. Johnson was booed by people in the crowds who didn't like the civil rights law. There were people heckling her, shouting, Blackbird, go home. Uh, just a moment, please. Just a moment. People would scream and not let her speak. And I would be, you know, I'd get angry and want to defend her. And, and Mother would just be very calm, and she would say, <laughs> My friends, this is a country of many viewpoints, and I respect your right to express your own. Now it's my turn to express mine. Thank you. By the time the train reaches New Orleans, Lady Bird has traveled 1,600 miles and addressed more than 200,000 people. Many southern states are lost, but LBJ wins the 64 election by a landslide. 